quick disclaimer, today's video is not going to be a woodworking video. So I have this very well-loved John Deere 2040 tractor that I'm actually not sure is mine originally. I, if I had to guess, I think it's a hand-me-down from somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's in pretty uh, mediocre shape. It's been very well-loved. And today we're going to be replacing the front wheels. They're quite wobbly. And you can actually see, um, you can even kind of see daylight coming through them. Right, right a little bit there, you can see coming in between the wheel and the axle. So these are very loose. Not sure when they're going to go. Probably soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and repair them now. So getting these old wheels off is actually going to be pretty simple. Like I showed you, they're very worn out. You can see there just how much play there is around that axle. So these are going to come off pretty easy. All we're going to do is just grip it and pull it straight off. Same with this other side. I'm going to grip it, pull it straight off. Now you can see these axles are, um, try to get the focus there, they're pretty worn too. So I don't actually know how much life this front axle has left in it. Probably enough to get my son through his playing days with this tractor. And there's the other side of the axle. You can see it's it looks kind of deformed. I don't know if that's from the axle itself hitting the floor at some point and being a little damaged or if it's just from wear. But either way, we're going to pop the new wheels on. Hope they stay on for a while. A couple years is really all I'm looking for. Just give this tractor a little bit more life. So the new wheels we got from a store called Dakota Toy Parts out of one of the Dakotas. You can find them on Facebook, find them on the inter interwebs. Um, this part in particular is 06026. This is the John Deere yellow version, obviously. I think it's the same wheel for a couple of the International Harvester models and um, potentially one of the Ford models too. At any rate, these should just pop right over this new axle. It should be pretty straightforward. If it's not, I do have a little bit of uh, three-in-one oil that I can put around this, um, put around the axles to help it slide on. So we're gonna try, just try this real quick, just to try to pop it on. That one went on pretty easy. And same over here. We're just gonna pop this one on. And voila, we got new wheels on the tractor. Now looking at it, um, these do actually still have a lot of play in it. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that these axles are just really worn. Yeah, and on this one, yeah, this one you can actually still see, you probably can't see it on the camera, but you can actually still see some daylight showing through. So either way, um, I guess not quite as repaired as I wanted. Uh, the axle, I think, is just a little bit too worn out, but hopefully that shows you the basic idea of how you um, remove and replace these wheels on a John Deere 2040. P.S. Side note, if you're like me and you like to reclaim everything, it looks like these wheels actually stick onto a one-quarter inch dowel pretty well, so uh, if you like making toys or just like tinkering with things, you could easily put these on a trailer and give them to a child to tow around on a truck, uses some makeshift farm implement.